T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we have ignition, and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with AEHF-5 for the United States Air Force Space and Missile System Center. Now 10 seconds in. Vehicle throttling down to 67% thrust. Engine response looks good. And PU system has gone to closed loop control as expected. System response looks good. 25 seconds in. RG-180 engine operating parameters look good. Now 35 seconds. Mach 1 Atlas V is now supersonic. Now 45 seconds in. RG-180 continuing to look good. Now passing through max Q. And engine throttling back up to 94% thrust. RG-180 engine operating parameters look good. Seeing good chamber pressure on all five SRBs, good symmetric burn. Just passing one minute now into flight. RD-180 continuing to look good. Also seeing good chamber pressure across all five SRBs. Engine now throttling down to 75% thrust as expected. Engine response looks good. Standing by for SRB burnout shortly. Seeing burnout on all five SRBs. Engine back up to full thrust. Standing by for SRB jettison. And we have good indication of jettison of all five solid rocket boosters. One minute, 50 seconds into flight. Vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. Now passing two minutes into flight. Atlas V is now 38 miles in altitude, 48 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,700 miles per hour. Two minutes, 15 seconds into flight. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good at full thrust. Vehicle body rates looking good. Just under two minutes now remaining in the boost phase of flight. Engine now throttling to maintain 2.5 G acceleration limit. Engine response and vehicle body rate response looks good. RCS pyro valve has been fired. Reaction control system is pressurizing to flight levels. Now coming up on three minutes into flight. RD-180 pump speeds and injector pressures continue to look good as it's maintaining that throttle limiting. Three minutes, 10 seconds in. Vehicle body rates continue to look good. Standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison and CFLR jettison complete as well. Vehicle now throttling back up to 95% thrust. Engine response looks good. Three minutes, 40 seconds in. And Engine is now throttling to maintain 4.6 G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good. Now passing four minutes into flight, Centaur has begun the boost phase chill down sequence. RD-180 engine continues to look good as it maintains that 4.6 G throttle acceleration limit. Four minutes, 15 seconds in, standing by for BECO shortly. And we have Beco booster engine cutoff standing by for stage step. 
and we have good indication of the Atlas Centaur separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10, standing by for ignition. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good, body rates look good. This first burn of today's mission will last approximately seven minutes. Now at five minutes into flight, the Centaur is 110 miles in altitude, 500 miles downrange distance, traveling at 13,900 miles per hour. RL-10 chamber pressure continues to look good. Vehicle body rates also maintaining uh, good values. Five minutes, 20 seconds into flight. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus five minutes, 30 seconds. Patrick Moore just confirmed the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. The mission is currently in the first of three Centaur engine burns. Our next event, Centaur Main Engine...